that's pretty good. Have to have a look, of course. But uh, let me just plug my phone in. I don't want to go dead while I'm doing this unboxing. Sorry guys, just give me a second here. Get this organized. Let me just verify that the sound is working. Just gotta finish watching some ads here. Looking good. So I got sound. Can you hear me, guys? So I got sound. Can you hear me, guys? Camera looks good. gonna do a new unboxing uh, J flowers just came out with a new case and I was pretty excited about it so got one on the way here it's the Trojan 3x4 case and it comes in blue gray and red uh, I ordered the gray cuz because uh, I think the grays pretty look pretty cool so let's go ahead and and open this sucker up if you haven't already, please subscribe and all that good stuff. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, give it a like. Would really appreciate that. Okay. Here we go. Oh wow, it's really nice, guys. I can tell already. It's really nice. If anybody has any questions or anything like that about the case, let me know. Um, pretty sure it was like 129. US on the website. So here we go. Really nice, really nice material. Um, it's even got a bit of a padding to it. It's got hooks at the back side and hooks on the front uh, on the sides. So I believe you can do like, uh, you can carry it like this. You can carry it on the side handle like this, or it's got straps inside. You can hook one up here, one up here, and it's got two in the back. So you can do backpack straps. I think, I haven't opened it up yet. It, it's darker than I thought, but actually I really like how dark it is. It's really nice gray. I think my daughter's gonna really like this case. She's had this beat up old case for a while and uh, wanted to get her something a little more substantial, a little more durable and something her style. So myself, I like the butterfly style, but uh, I've been thinking about switching it up as well. So let's have a look at the pockets here. And at the end of this, uh, talk when I go through the case uh, I'll bring the camera down and I'll do some close-ups and that 
and then I'll probably be snapping some pictures and videos and uh, stay tuned to the channel for a full review of the case. Uh, I'll probably probably do that as well. So, but I like to do the unboxings. Uh, first things I notice is this this large pocket has zippers on both sides. So it's got a zipper on this side and a zipper on that side. And it looks like it's got some nice blue velvet and it extends like this. So you could put a lot of stuff in there. Uh, this is just a little styrofoam that's in there, but that extends and it's a pretty deep pocket. Uh, of course, they put the straps there. So here are the straps. Uh, some nice padding and the material matches the case. So I imagine if you get the blue, your straps will match. If you get the red, your straps will match. They're adjustable. Um, the hooks on the end freely, freely spin. And they got some pretty, they lock into place, which is kind of nice. They kind of clip into place. Um, same on both sides. So that's pretty cool. You can hook those up however you like, or if you don't like straps, um, you don't have to do that. Oh, this is a nice little feature. So they've added a little hook right on the strap. So that's nice because you could put your little uh, joint protector holder, or you could attach a towel to that. You could attach all kinds of little stuff to that. And they have one of those on each strap. So you could go with the single strap or dual strap, whatever you like. So that's pretty cool. See if I can get this up there. Kind of like a xylophone or, I mean, uh, like a, forget what that instrument's called. But then the pocket just clips in. It's got a little button there to un unclip and pop it out. Okay. Just clips into place. But well, it's got a little tab there to pull it as well. So if you want to push and then pull the tab, you could pull it out that way. Uh, the pocket has ample room, it looks like. can put my, get my elbow into there. So that's pretty good. That is the main pocket of the case. There isn't a pocket up here. There's a little side deal here. I don't know, you could hang a pen off that. It's pretty tight. I don't know that you could put much in there but a pen, but I guess that might be the use. And then on the sides here, there's some little bonus. Oh, this is cool. It's got a, it opens up like, like this. And it's soft and padded inside. Probably for an extension butt or a jump cue or something. There's one of those on each side of the case. And it zips, it zips up tight if you don't want to be using it. And then it zips open just to have something in there. And then there's another zipper if you want to really open it up there. So that's kind of neat. I'd have to see over time to hear some feedback from my daughter, what she thinks about these pockets. Um, I've been really impressed by J Flowers cases. I know my buddy Andreas at Here After Media has, Here After Billiards, sorry, Here After Billiards has been a fan as well. He has the uh, earlier version of a J Flowers case and he absolutely loves it. Um, He's done a review on there. If you want to go over to his channel and check it out, he did a good review of his case. Same thing on the, on the top here, you got the strap. And then this has a Velcro that opens up like this. And then you can put, uh, I got some bonus gifts in here. You can put uh, three butts, four shafts. I don't know how well you can see, if you can see in there. But then these kind of just extra protection. Sorry about that. This is just like extra protection. And then 
straps up on the top. And it's got the Dice J Flowers logo on the top. So, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you were on the early bird purchase, uh, if you are looking to purchase one of these, please use my link in the description. Uh, it's an affiliate link and uh, lets J Flowers know that I'm doing a good job as an ambassador. If you order now, I think it's still on, you get this little bonus pack of stuff with your case. Um, so this is a leather joint protector holder. So you put your joint protectors on either side of this. And like I said, it's got a little hook there. You could hook that to your strap or numerous different places on the case, which is pretty cool. Um, this is a little, looks like a little leather change purse. It's got some little nine ball design on there. It buttons up. And again, it's got a little hook to go on there. That's bonus. And there's a little wallet style ting as well. And it's just straight leather. J Flowers does a lot of leather work. And it's got some really nice embroidery and little design on it and stuff. And again, the hook to hook it on your case. So pretty cool. Um, and they also included a, a patch. So that's cool. Oh yeah, the accordion. Damn it. <laughs> and I just watched something with an accordion in it too. We saw an awesome play. Uh, we went and saw a very cool play in town here. My daughter bought us tickets to this play and um, it was a U of A production. And uh, the music was all done by the band as well, like by the actors. And uh, the, main, the main actor had the accordion. So that's pretty sweet. Yeah, that's pretty much it with the uh, with the unboxing people. I will undo my my cues here and let's let's load it up and see what it looks like. This is my uh, J Flowers BRKR. I got my jump stick here. The JMPR. And my crown jewel, my new JF 2023. So, of course, with the SMO shaft. Wasn't sure about it when I first started playing with it, but I absolutely love it now. So, let's see here. And Dennis Arculio is using the same case, just a little different of a version. Put this guy in the middle. I'll put this one on the side. Shafts go in there. The padding is really nice. You can, it feels really smooth in there. Doesn't feel weird. You got more than enough room to uh to grab your stuff out of there it's it's spaced nice and evenly so you can pull the shafts out easily you can you can get your hand in there you can get your hand in there to, to pull the shafts out and that's what it looks like when they're all the way in the case with this guy i guess you could put it you could put it in the side You could put the little tiny butt in the side, zip it up, but I would probably, because I don't like stuff, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of how this, how this is like opened up, but it does lock it into place quite well, but I don't like that it's, uh, 
it's open. I don't like stuff hanging out. So I would probably put my, I would break this down. It's a three piece. I would probably just throw that in here myself. And actually, I, I believe it does have a spot for it in there. It does. Now, if you can see here on the back wall, there are two pouches there that you can put your jump cue into. So you don't have to have it on the outside and it separates it. There are two little pockets there and that will separate it from everything else. So you can use those. Uh, let's see here. That's the tall piece. And that's the short piece. Fits in there perfectly. And then you can jam your extensions in there as well. A couple extensions. Put all my stuff inside. And strap it up. Put the cover on. Feels pretty good. It's a pretty light case. It feels very durable. One thing I should mention as well, the bottom is a very hard, durable plastic like thing that protects the bottom. Cause you know how a lot of the cases, they get all scuffed up. What I like about this one is they went all the way around. So it's got a bit of a round edge to it, which is nice. Let's see what this is like to do backpack straps. We'll just do a, we'll just strap these guys on here. Try to adjust them. Show you guys how this fits. Goes on there quite well. I'm a bigger dude, so I know I'm gonna have to loosen these right off the bat. I'll just go right to the bottom just to give myself lots of room. All right, here we go. Oh, I have tons of room. Case flips around. It's actually quite comfortable. I could have it tighter, but uh, could have stuff here hanging right here if you want. Uh, just give you an idea of the back, what it looks like there. It's, it's really comfortable. I gotta say, I like the way it, I like the way it fits. I can see myself walking around, you know, Vegas, uh, with this comfortable freedom, you know, doesn't feel like it's going to fall off or anything like that. So really impressed with it. Yeah, the organization of that case that you have is excellent. Yeah, it is. It is velvet. It's like straight up velvet on the inside, which is really nice. Um, so, what else? Oh, I see what you're saying. I gotta say, just wearing this right now, it's it's super comfortable. So I'm gonna take the uh, phone down now. I'm gonna try to show you guys this like one-handed. So you know how my videos go; they're they're kind of one-handed, my unboxings, and and I'll do a proper uh, I'll do a proper video review of this case, and uh, yeah. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't already and you like this unboxing video, please give it a like. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. And um, if you're looking for one of these cases, please use my link in the description of this video. And uh, that way it lets them know that I referred you and uh, it's an affiliate link. So it gives me a referral. You can also join the referral program if you like. You can apply for it on the J Flowers website. Um, 
I always suggest uh, using an affiliate link. Uh, it helps our ambassador team um, get access to new products so that we can keep bringing these reviews to you guys. Um, so thanks a lot. I'm going to bring the camera down now and uh, we'll have a closer look. So here we go. This is the case. The button opens up. Zipper on the side. Zipper on the other side. And then this sucker just opens up and you can see this is like a velvet stitched together. The inside I have, use this hand, I have my extensions, all those, all that extra stuff in there. So let's just take that out. Got my extensions here. And you can see how the, there are two pockets in there for your jump. So this is just the, uh, this is the one piece. And then there's a smaller pocket. You just reach in there and you can pull out the other piece, right? So that's, that's that bit. Um, here's the J flowers logo. Pretty nice. You can see the quality of the buttons is, is decent. Let's go to the top of the case here. A little close up. It's got a Velcro. I, I have this backwards, but there's a Velcro there just to kind of protect. I think that's for when you're pulling the cues in and out of the bag. But just an idea here. Let me try to... There's an idea of how, how the cues are in there. I got three shafts in there right now. But there's room for uh, one more shaft and one more butt on this side. I don't know what these little gaps are, but you they go down as deep as your finger. These little uh, gap things on the side. You could probably put some change in there or something. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the back side, this is the side of the case. These are the hooks on the side. The little pocket. You can see the stitching is quite nice. And then this is the zip pocket on the side. Not sure what I would use this for. It's kind of a cool feature, but I'm not sure. Maybe some gloves or something small. But it's like got more velvet in there. I can't see myself really using this pocket that much. But I'm sure it has a specific purpose. Um, hang on here. Yeah. I'm sure it's got a specific purpose. It's got a zipper inside of a zipper here. So, let me just, sorry, this video is not the best. There we go. So it's got a zipper inside of the zipper. And then you can open that and you have access to this extra area. But it seems like you could put a small extension in here or something. And then if you're not using it, you zip it up closed. And there's one of those on each side of the case. So let me just zip up this pocket here. Zip up the pocket. We'll clip it in. You can see it just clips into place there. This little flap is leather. And then on this side, it's a really nice handle here. Stitched, it's firm, it's padded. The other pocket and these are the the clasps and the rings here on your case on your strap strap sorry so let's take that off might need
Oh, can you hear me now? Sorry about that. I did accidentally mute. <laughs> uh, what a joke. Anyway, okay, talk to you about this. These are see-through. Um, this is the, uh, the joint protector ring that you can add on. And then this is just like a little, this little wallet. And these are, these are bonus. You only get these if you order now. So I'll show you. I don't usually use joint protectors too much, so, but this is how it works. I'm going to, I'm going to put it back up and uh, show you up here. Excuse me. All right. Sorry for the ghetto stream, guys. I just, uh, I'm not super high tech here. Just the guy. So this is the, uh, this is the joint protector deal. Put your joint protector through there and you just do it up, right? And then you strap this onto your case and that's where you keep your joint protectors so that, you know, so that they're just kind of, you don't have to throw them in your pocket. They're just on the side of your case conveniently. So then when you're done playing, you just take them off and you just put them on your cue, whatever, and, and put your cues back. So I don't know who originally came up with this idea, but it's a pretty cool idea. Anyhow. How durable do the button areas seem? Which which button? Oh, the, uh, do you mean like the, do you mean like the clasp here? It seems really sturdy to be honest. Like you got to push it down, it latches into place. You have to push it down for it to come out. But uh, yeah, as long as the spring lasts in this, you're fine. And uh, it's solid, it's not, it's not opening. Same with this one. And then you got the extra support for your cues here. Just in case anything did happen, like say you forgot to do up your case, you know, I got cues in here. I got all my expensive cues in here, guys. Look, it it's uh it's solid. I'm not sure. There. All my cues are in there. I'm shaking it. They're not coming out. They're they're in there. My JF 2023, my jump cue, or sorry, my breaker and three shafts. I don't even have it full. And it won't come out, so it's a pretty good interior on this case. Yeah, I know I'm crazy, but no joint protectors either. But hey, man, you wanted to know. So that's the case. What do you guys think? Give me some feedback. What do you think of this case? Right now, I'm using the butterfly. I'm a big fan of the butterfly case. So. Right now, I use this guy, and uh, it's light, durable, weatherproof. It's got a giant pocket on the front, and it just opens like a butterfly. What I like about it the most is you could take the shafts out either this way or the other way, whichever way you want to take it out. So, and it's got a little cell phone pocket, and it's got a really comfortable strap as well. So this is what I'm using. Uh, but I found this, like if I was going to Vegas, this would be a really good choice because I really like the backpack strap. I've tried a bunch of cases with backpack straps now and I may be biased, okay? But I found this to be the most comfortable one I've tried on so far. Even from the other J Flowers cases, that had the uh, backpack strap. I tried the sport. It wasn't nearly as comfortable as this one is. And I think it has to do with the fact that they clasp 
they clasp on the front side, but then they don't attach on the, they don't attach on the bottom here. They attach on the side here. So they get out of the way. So you have this nice padded area on your back, which I think is a, is a smart design. So yeah, definitely check it out. They have three colors and um, yeah, the price is, uh, the prices are incredible. Like, I think by the time you get that case in Canada, it's probably like a couple hundred dollars. I spent 129 US, $40 US for shipping. So that's 169. And we get another customs fee when it gets delivered, usually like 10 or $15. So, you know, so it, it's probably in and around the two to 250 mark for the case, but I think it's well worth it. If you look at the other cases that are available on the market for that price point. I have not reviewed the BRKR, um, but I will be doing a review on that now that I've been using it for about a year. I do, however, have a review of the JF, uh, the JF Force Break Q, which is the earlier version of this, but the only thing that changed from the J the JF Force Break Q and this is the design really. The construction, the shaft taper, the carbon shaft, it's all identical. So um, it's just which design you like. Do you like the blue? They have a red series now. And um, the leather grip is a little smoother on the uh, on the BRKR if you get the grip. Um, then the J-Force and the J-Force has uh, yellow, black and a little bit of red, I think, on it. So it's a little different of a design. Just really depends what color you like. But I, I like both of the cues. Uh, I've reviewed the JF, uh, the JF Power. No, the JF Force, sorry. They have the JF Power Jump and the JF Force Brake Cue. I reviewed both of those on my channel. You can check it out. And those are pretty much identical to what the BRKR and the JMPR are. They, uh, they have the same shaft, same construction, just a different design. So check those out. Check those reviews out. Um, yeah, um, check out the cases. They have some really good ones, and uh, I would really appreciate if you use my affiliate link if you're going to buy something. Tell us, Jay Flowers, I'm doing a good job. Okay, everybody, that's it for today. I got to go practice. I'm going to go practice some pool with my daughter tonight. And uh, I have another cue to bring to a friend of mine at Top Shots. He picked up the, uh, what is it? The JF 10 series. It's the one with the blue. And uh, it's really nice. I'm going to be taking some pictures and doing a review of that one as well. It's, it's one of the... Um, Aspirin series cues and I forget exactly which model it is, but it's my favorite one and it's the one that has the um, The fork style design it looks like uh, Who's the god of the seas like the Greek god of the seas? I'm trying to think of his name with the pitchfork anyway it, It's got a kind of design like that and the write-up is kind of like that. It's a actually I could show you the cue Double unboxing. I can unbox right now, guys. Bonus content here. Oh. 
bonus content. Here it is. So this is for my buddy Josh. I don't know if he's tuned in, but bringing this to him today. And this is one of my faves. I'll tell you what it is. It is the JF1011BF. We got it with the 12.5 classic shaft. Uh, it's got the Mori medium tip. And... Um, it's got the black leather wrap. This is one of my favorites of the lower end, the lowest end uh, deco series. This is my favorite one. This is the beauty right here. And what I love about this one is it's one of the only ones with a matching black butt cap. So it looks really sharp, doesn't it? And the the decals on it are so well done. These decal cues, you guys, you can hardly tell. I mean, this thing is, this thing is in really nice shape. If I had to buy another cue, if I didn't have my 2023, I would probably be playing with this one because I really like this design and I always have. It has like a, uh, it has like almost like a, what do they call that um, stone? I'll zoom in here for you. See that? It's hard to believe that's a decal. What is that called again, that stonework? I always forget. Poseidon, yeah. Poseidon, that's who I was thinking of. And this stuff is, um, geez, it's escaping me. But I like it. And they do that on purpose to make it look like it's the actual stone. Which is really cool. It's a nice case. I mean, it's a nice cue. And then he got that with the classic, with the classic shaft. We went with the black. Black Feral. I don't want to really take it out because it's it's not mine, so it's for sale. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll tell him, buddy. He might like it. Who knows? Some people like the hard Mori's, but I find the stock ones are a bit hard, yeah. I'll give you that. I usually switch to a uh, to a different uh, tip. And like your video suggests, I like to support my local Q, my local Q Smiths. So I usually get it delivered and then I get it swapped. But here, I'll show you the tip on mine right now. Check this bad boy out. That's the how tight and hard. Anyway, you guys, that's pretty much it. Little bonus. Thanks everybody for tuning in and uh, please give this a thumbs up. If you're looking for any J Flowers products, hit the link in the description and uh, please subscribe. Thanks so much for stopping by. Till next time.